let's paint this little thing and see what see what happens out of this. I'm still here, you guys. I'm still here. I'm not done yet. I'm not afraid anymore. I don't want to be afraid anymore. I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not afraid anymore. All right, let's see. Fudge it. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to paint something that only you will understand. My beautiful friend. Beautiful friend, you will only understand. Dude, I'm I'm ready to go home. I don't know about you guys. I gotta go home later though. I still got I still got long ways. But I feel like I figure if I start complaining early, I might just get get home earlier. Who knows? Hopefully not. I'll, I'll wait. I'll get home when I need to go home. Alright, check this out. Boom. 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 Bum, 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 bum. Hola Constance, come and stop my friend Constance, what's happening and stuff? What's happening Jim, how's it going Jim and stuff? What's up people, how are you? And then we're gonna, we're gonna put one that's like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm looking somewhere now. And I only really want to do that because I feel like this little birdie, this little birdie doesn't doesn't need to kick it right there. This little birdie can can look somewhere else. There we go. Boom. Zombie painting. <laughs> Gotta get some rest. Gotta get some rest. Otherwise, you're gonna get cranky like me. I I I, I was cranky all day. I'm barely I'm barely stepping away from my crankiness. You gotta get some rest. Look at that. Boom. I feel like I need to I need to become like like TikTok TikTok famous now. I had to get TikTok famous. I need you right now, fame. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Yeah, going going online and, and getting your shops open and all that. Uh, yeah, that takes energy. It takes a lot of energy. 
takes a lot of energy. No lie. Please don't go. Pam, 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 pam. Look at that. Yeah, online shops are, are, are uh, yeah. I don't even like thinking about them. Just thinking about them gives me, get, they give me goosebumps. So much work. check my I have to go check my door over there look at this little birdie Do you do flea market? Flea market? No, I don't. I don't do any flea market or anything like that. Um, I did do Craigslist when I first started about 11 years ago. I did do Craigslist. Um, but I think I think all of that is has been taken over by. Um, by Facebook Marketplace, I think that's where people are at now. I've been told. I haven't been on that. I've been told. Yeah, I mean, when you, when you start out, I think I think anywhere, you know, anywhere is 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 good. After a while, after a while, it gets you start narrowing down, you know, the places that that best that best work for you. And depending, right? Depending on where 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 you want to go, where you're at, that type of deal. Uh, me as a, as an artist, I, I feel like um, I'm I'm looking now for a balance of painting and 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 uh, and actually getting paid. Uh, well, where before I was just like, dude, I just need to get paid something, and now, now I'm 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 looking for that for that balance of, of I can't I can't just paint and paint and paint. I need to start getting paid. You know, I need to start getting paid more, and that's not, you know, there's nothing good or bad about that. It's just a different place, and and who even knows what what that looks like I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm working on that still 
I, I do a lot of painting still. I don't know if I'm ever going to stop doing a lot of painting. Who knows? But I, I'm at a place now where I'm like, I, I need to get paid much better than, than, than what I did, you know, five, six, eight years ago. Who knows what that'll look like? I guess it's just a matter of time. I think it's important for artists to get paid um, and get paid well for what they do. I think also because because painting becomes it becomes a lot of work at some point, like a lot of work. It's it's very laborious. And so to anyone who's looking to become a full-time artist, it sucks the it sucks the fun out of it if you're not getting paid. It just completely drains the fun out of it. It's, it's something that I, I recommend artists. I'm always telling artists, try to get paid. Even if you're doing it part-time, try to get paid for it. Try to get paid. Sell sell the work. Put it on the marketplace. Do so. I don't know. Whatever, right? Everybody does it differently. I got some people tell me that I'm doing it wrong all the time. Yeah, I'm always getting people tell me that I'm doing it wrong. Um, and so I may be doing it wrong. Who knows? But uh, But it's working for me now. Yeah. So that's something that I tell artists, like whatever you're doing, like don't worry about it whether it's right or wrong. Just try to get paid for it. And then figure it out later. Try to get paid for it. Because it, it gets it gets very old if you're not getting paid for it. It it gets old very fast. It it loses its charm very fast. If if you're doing it as a as a as a as a career. You'll, you'll get disappointed pretty fast if you don't get paid for it. I know some people say I didn't get into this to get paid. Well, I mean, that's a beautiful hobby, right? But that's not a career. A career pays you. A career is supposed to pay you, and if it's not paying you, it's, it's maybe time to change gears. Most of the time what happens with, with artists, uh, I, I see one or two things that happens with most artists. One, one or two things. The first one, they almost never get paid. Uh, probably because they're not painting enough. That's almost always, that they're, they're not painting enough. But then they get to a point where they are painting enough. They are painting full time. They are, they are, they are, they're in there. They're really working now. Um, and and they're, they've done it for a couple of years, at least a couple of years. They're they're really getting in there and they're working in there, you know. They're painting, they're doing their thing. And, and then what happens? The second thing that happens is uh, um, they don't they don't they don't have a system or something that that yields. Uh, that yields better prices or, or that yields um, better pay. And so it gets old. A lot of artists that I've talked to since, you know, I, I love doing it. It's just hard. I mean, I, I, I've, I do get paid, but, but, uh, but people are always, you know, fighting me on prices and, and whatnot. And, and the thing is that this is something that I used to do 
I used to receive just about every commission when people are like, I used to, I even, I even did stuff like pay me whatever you want to pay me. And just to kind of, every time I tested something new, I would just receive any, any of it just to make it spin. Once it was spinning, uh, today I, today I reject, not reject. I don't reject them. They reject me. Probably 90% of my commissions get rejected today. Cause, cause you know, a lot of people think you're going to, you're going to do it for free or something. And so, but, but now I'm, now I'm talking to way more people, right? Than I used to. What's happening, Frankie? And so we're some years back, I would, I would take any job. Um, if I didn't have any, any, any work, I would take any job. But at some point you have a lot of work and it's, I'm not looking for more work. You know, at some point you have a lot of work. As an artist, you, you, you're, you're inundated with work. And then you start realizing, oh, okay, I don't want more work. I, I need to get paid more. I already have a lot of things to do. I already have a lot of commissions and a lot of work to do. Now, now I need to start getting paid more. And, and so that's... Oh, thank you so much. That's the hardest part, I think, for, for many artists out there. You know, so so again, I think it's two things. The first one is you're not you're not painting enough, and that's probably why you're not getting paid if you're a, a part time or a full time artist. Uh, it comes down to work in the beginning. You're not painting enough, and then the second one, the second one is you're not marketing enough. And 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 marketing enough. I mean, I, I I still haven't figured that one out yet, guys. The second one. The second one is, is uh, I think most artists don't understand the gargantuan, gargantuan effort that needs to be placed into marketing. I think most of us do, just don't get it. We just don't get it. We try to understand, but we don't get it. Most of us think that if we just put our stuff on, on, on Facebook or on Facebook groups or, or on our Facebook page or or... Or if I run an ad, a little ad on Instagram or something a day, it's somehow going to yield all this business. And m most of us are, are very confused. I would say 99.9% .9 of artists are extremely confused as to the amount of marketing you actually have to do in order to, to, to get some serious traffic and really start getting paid, like really get paid for your work. It, it takes takes an enormous amount of marketing because most people when you when you throw your price most people are gonna say no and even if you're extremely reasonable in, in the beginning what I did is I basically gave them away I still do a lot of that I basically gave them away so that I could have work right because in the beginning what I was looking for is work now now I'm looking to get paid and I discovered that every time that I throw my prices out there, uh, most people start coughing, right? They're like, <laughs> wait, um, wait, how much is that? And, and it's, and again, it's because there's not enough traffic. Once you have enough traffic, you, you can say no, you're, you're fine. Right. You're fine saying, oh, okay, well, if it doesn't work for you, you know, that's cool. You know, you can find me when you need me. I'm over here. Uh, but if you don't have traffic, you're going to start saying things like, well, what's your budget? That's the kind of shit you're going to start saying. Well, what's your budget? If, if you can't buy it for, for uh, I don't know. If you can't spend 500 bucks or, or $5,000 for a painting or whatever it is, you're going to start saying things like, well, how much can you spend? And then you start getting into all kinds of trouble there. All the trolls in the world are because there's not enough traffic. Genius doesn't always get recognized, especially in today's artwork. Yeah, um, Constance says I get this with marketing. Yeah, it, but it's not, it's not, you're right, but it's not that it doesn't get recognized. It's not really that it doesn't get recognized, and I know what you mean. It's more that it's loud. And it's crowded. The world is loud and it's crowded. 
And so it's not that they can't recognize your genius. It's that they're paying attention to a kid doing uh, uh, some funny dance on TikTok. You know, 10 million people are paying attention to that. Or they're paying attention to an artist doing something funny on Instagram or on, or on, on YouTube. And, and, and it's just the way it is. They won. You know, they, they yield the attention. Today we're fighting for attention. Before people used to fight for whoever has more talent. Today you're not fighting for talent, you're fighting for attention. Uh, abstract Audrey says, uh, I agree so much non-creative effort, I need to hire that part out. Yeah, or, or you know, or get some help or, you know, whatever, right? Whatever needs to happen, but... The, the, the problem is not really that we're not creative or that people can't see our creativity. The, the, the problem is that we are in a saturated world, that it's loud. And we're fighting for attention. You and I are fighting for the attention that, that I don't know, Khloe Kardashian is getting on an ad. And, you know, we're, we're, we're really, we're really uh, moving up and down, looking for attention. Everybody is, whether it's you, the president, the 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 an interior designer. It doesn't matter. There's so much. There's so much noise in the world. See, it used to be that the noise was was on TV, radio, and news, uh, you know, print. Today, it's not like that anymore. Today, anyone can broadcast. And so people say, oh, my God, it's so cool. Everybody can broadcast. Well, it's a double-edged sword because everybody can broadcast. Attention has now gotten harder to fish. Where a, a few years back, if you wanted attention, all you had to do was pay a glossy magazine a couple of K. Pay a couple of thousand bucks to a glossy magazine. You're local, your state. It, doesn't, it, 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 it would cost more if it was national. But your state magazine... And you get yourself a, a full spread there, an ad or something. You know, pay them a couple of thousand bucks. And and, and that was it. That really, that really was it. You know, you sold a painting. If you sold a painting, guess what? You would you would get some of that money that you sold and you would reinvest it into another ad. And that's how artists used to do it. Today is very different. The world is a very different place today. Thank you for getting down here. We, we are not in Kansas anymore. This ain't Kansas, Dorothy. This is a different, it's a different, different, different place. And, and most artists don't have no idea what, where we're at right now. We're in a whole different ball game. Uh, Abstract Audrey says, and I want to use my effort to paint and not market. Yeah. Yeah, I, I hear you. Most artists, most, you know, just about every artist. That's the dream, right? If I could just paint, not market. Frankie says, well said. Jose, thank you, Frankie. Uh, Jim says, the saddest thing uh, an artist could do is think they're authentic when they're really not. Yeah, probably that too. How long does it take for this to dry? This takes about three weeks, roughly about three weeks to dry.
And so that's the that's the situation. If you're an artist, that's the situation where you find yourself right now. And so where most people are like, oh, online is so cool. Online is so cool. Well, it, it, it is and it isn't, you know. It's a double-edged sword. Online is cool if all the attention was for you, but all the attention is not for you or me. All, all, all the, the attention is fragmented. You know, so, so you and I are competing with, with uh, someone, uh, I don't know, making funny videos on TikTok. We're, we're competing for that attention. We're not competing to see our genius. We're competing just to be seen. Just to be seen. You know, people used to tell me, oh, man, I loved I loved eBay back in the day. They used to tell me that that they, they would put a painting there, just any old painting, and they would sell it for about five, six hundred bucks. Any little painting, it didn't matter if it was an eight by ten or a nine by twelve painting. This was many years ago on, on eBay. As if, you know, they're like, yeah, it's just so crowded now. And I'm like, Dude, that's the world. That's not eBay. That's the world. Anywhere you go, you're going to compete with, with thousands of other artists. Probably hundreds of thousands of art, art yeah. pieces a day. Mm -hmm. And so, I realized this when they put me uh, in the front page of Saatchi Art. I got, I got a feature in the front page of Saatchi Art. And that day I sold a bunch of paintings. And those of you who know, Saatchi Art, everything that you sell there is like, it's gallery prices. I sold a bunch of paintings in one day and it reinforced that, right? It reinforced it for me. It's like, of course, it's the attention. I, I got attention. It wasn't that my paintings were better than someone else's, although I may think that and I may, and I may market that. But that's the reality is that other people have great art too, not just me. The reality is that, is that I got the attention because I got, I got featured. And so, that's just the way it is. Who gets the attention controls the sale. Adding an authentic personality and a story helps. Yeah, no, no. I mean, there's so many things that can help. The 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 bottom line is that is that no matter what you do, if you don't have the attention, even if you have a great story and a great personality, it doesn't mean anything because you're not being seen. The bottom line is that you need to get seen. You need to be seen. As an artist, your your number one job. Your number one job when you're a full-time artist, I don't think it's painting anymore. I think your number one job is being seen. It's, it's no longer painting, your number one job. And I think that that's very difficult okay. for most of us to, to swallow. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hard pill to swallow for most of us that... that that are artists. But, uh, I'll tell you all about it. Alright, my friends. Well, there it is. There are my little three birds. I gotta eat something. My wife just brought dinner. Happily. I'm glad. There it is. Hope you guys enjoy this little, this little painting, this little talk. Take care, my friends. Stay well and sophisticated. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.